Hello, welcome to another um, tutorial on Howler uh, Basics. Today we're going to uh, talk about animated brushes. There's a number of ways to uh, use the animated brushes. Animated brushes are ones that um, stamp down different um, images and things uh, going in a, a loop or cycle. And here on the brush menu we can see the animated brush and there's a, you can do array to animated brush you can if you have an AVI you can send that to animated brush so say you had a, a walk sequence in um, Carrera or Poser um, you can open up the animated brush timeline and then of course cropping the animated brush creating the animated uh, brush opening one that's already been created and then saving loading sequences etc so um, on this one, we're going to talk about a couple of different ways. Um, as I've stated before, animation isn't my big thing, but this is a nice simple one. And the animated brush works in Artist as well as um, in the, the full Howler and whatnot. So that's really neat that even though it doesn't have the animation aspects, it does still have the animated brush. The simplest way for me uh, to do that is to... Um, first, select a custom brush. You could make one yourself. You could select one, um, and uh, you know, using one of your things. And this is a really neat way to alter your grass or, or things like that. Um, or doing a um, opening up in uh, clip art or um, various PNGs and whatnot. And then you could create a series. Of brushes that will then stamp down after each other um, just like a flip book so we're gonna go ahead and uh, do this we're gonna pick one open it up these are PNG brush brushes so they'll automatically have the alpha channel already in there I'm gonna bring my opacity all the way up and uh, my size I'm gonna bring down because that's uh, too big for what we're doing here. So that's a fairly nice size right there, maybe even just a touch smaller. So we got a nice little butterfly there. Now, the simple part. When you do brush, store manage a copy. You can also do that from over here, just store the brush. Okay? And we have the brush just like you're used to uh, seeing now. Now, we can show the film strip, which you see has one brush. The other way to do it is to grab the corner and you can move it around so that you can see your brush. So we have one brush now in our little animated film strip. So next we go, we open another brush. Didn't have to do anything else, didn't have to stamp it down, nothing. And we will select another butterfly here. My sizes and things are not going to change, so I don't really have to worry about that. I can take a look decide yep that's a pretty good uh, size I can uh, come in here and make some manipulations such as flipping it horizontal so now we've got our butterfly going this uh, direction I could make it bigger or smaller now here's the neat trick add frame and now I have two butterflies I feel like count on Sesame Street two butterflies ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. All right, so let's add another one here. Obviously, I'm in silly mode. And for uh, this one, we're going to pick the nice little angelic butterfly here. There's our little angelic butterfly. Um, I kind of like it just the way it is. So I don't see anything I really need to um, change on it. And so add frame. And we'll do one more. So we have four butterflies. So we open that up. Here's another one that's fairly open um, as a butterfly. So that's a good one. There we are. And uh, I think I want to uh, go ahead and rotate it slightly. And rotate it just a little bit here. There we are. And add frame. So 
I now have four butterflies. I could continue adding my butterflies if I wanted to. And uh, we now have an animated brush. As you notice, it goes back immediately to the first one. Um, those are settings that you can adjust here. Uh, go to the first frame, go to the first frame on mouse down, things like that. So if we paint with it, we'll see that it's using the steps that we have set here, the scaling, opacity, and whatnot. So if I change my steps, let's make them a little bit further apart. And there we have the butterflies. I can also use any of the other brush options on this animated brush now. So if I was to come here to style, change it to matte, and make it purple, we now have purple butterflies. And if I was to um, open up my um, settings, brush settings here, and say we give it a random hue and a random angle, and a random size, some random position, and uh, maybe some random value right here. We now have a butterfly that changes. We can do a whole flock of butterflies very swiftly and uh, easily this way. We can come in uh, to the mode and change the mode. So now we've got additive to add some differences there to our butterflies. Multiply so they nicely stack on top of each other. And uh, subtractive. Getting nice and dark there. So any of the um, brush aspects. If we wanted to add a shadow to it, we can come in here. This is the FX shadow, so it won't add the shadow until we're done, but there's our shadow. Really neat um, look to that. Um, and then, of course, we can add any of the other um, effects as well. nice little embossed effect there and you're getting these random butterflies each time next um, you can also of course make changes in here so if I wanted the uh, these things have very little to do with it if you're dealing with black and white um, you can scale it and rotate it through here but that's about it uh, when you're dealing with black and white it's not going to change your hue or anything else if you had a colored um, brush in here then you could of course make changes so using the brush settings here with your random hues and then make sure that your style is set to matte is your uh, your best bet for being able to get other uh, colors and things depending on how far apart you put your steps is how uh, how far apart that they will stamp down and then you can also come here and use your top uh, square piece and it will draw your butterflies all in a nice little frame so there we have butterflies in a nice little frame quick and easy just like we were um, doing with the bubbles when we made the pool invitation so there's the, the fastest and easiest uh, way, uh, according to me, of doing an animated uh, brush um, or flipbook style. Another way um, to do it is to um, set yourself up an array. If you don't already have a sprite array uh, set up down here in our grids, since we're not using layers today, down here in our grids we have drawing grid which will force it to um, go to, a, to the grid we have our visible grid and we have artist uh, guides so we're going to use the artist uh, guides here 
and we're going to um, go ahead and, and stamp a, a sprite down to each of these. So we've got our steps down to zero and oh, because we've got all of these we need to set these all back to zero again and on to brush. Okay, so we select our animated uh, brush, bring this down, and we'll stamp. Uh, because it's animated, it's not wanting to uh, to drop all of this. So we're just going to go ahead and browse for a different one. We've got uh, some far tree foliage here, so we'll bring it uh, up and make a stamp. So there's a a little uh, brush. Change our color here. A little brush. Change the color. And lastly change the color. So we've got four here. Um, due to the fact that we have white all around uh, all around it here, um, we're going to have white squares when this makes it into an array. So in order to um, not have white squares, you need to go in and do a selection. Um, you can select numerically, select all, select by things, going to uh, select by the color key since we have white. We're going to do nonlinear tolerance and we're going to bring this way up so it gets that in as close as possible. Then we're going to invert the selection and shrink it by one. That way you lose a little bit of your edge, but you should get rid of most of the white that's around the edge. Um, so now we're ready to um, put this onto an array. We go to brush, animated brush, and we go array to animated brush. There's two images going across. There's two images going down for a total of four images. Um, if you didn't fill in one of these, you'd say that there was three images. Okay, we now have our animated brush, and if we do a store, and then show the film strip, you see there's the brushes. So we can get rid of our artist guide here. We can clear the selection, and clear, and we're ready to go. So. Now we have our lovely foliage. It's still following the brush settings that we uh, had here since we didn't change any of those. And now you can see um, how we can change the hue. So I've changed the hue on the first one. All the rest of them are going to stay the same. Only changing over here. I can you know, make that bright uh, pink now, and now that will show up as the the bright reddish pink. So that's a, a second way of doing your animated brushes. This works well if you've got um, a fairly clear um, picture that you're working with. On that, um, if you can't get your alpha cleared up, then you're going to have halos. So you can also um, for foliage, if you come into the particles and uh, do foliage or do particles, there is an option here for line plus alpha or shrinking line plus alpha. If you use those, then those will automatically put the alpha in there for you. So you can set your array up with some different grasses or some different things, and your um, alpha will already be set on that. You don't have to do this extra step if you're doing it this way. So that sets your, your sprite array to sprite up there. So um, there we've um, seen how to uh, do it. If you're creating it, you can create one that just 
flows along uh, the line that has the exact same picture on each frame um, if you do create the Anna brush in that matter and you, you can do it with 20 frames or 30 frames and whatnot um, you're better off loading the sequences or put them putting them in individually um, like I said there unless you're really good with animation things there is the animated brush timeline which can come up um, which shows our source here these are the little brushes that we had and uh, and then you can make changes on the uh, animated timeline based on um, the things here. So, all right, that's it for today. I hope you uh, enjoyed and uh, find some new and interesting things to do with the animated brushes. All right, have a good day.